Why is this couple smiling? Perhaps they found hope, meaning, and purpose in the book of Revelation. Nearly 2,000 years ago, a lonely man on a distant island received a remarkable vision. Some readers have been frightened by his vision, but many more have found in it the hope, meaning, and purpose they were looking for. And now, here are your hosts, Dr. John Pauline and Dr. Graham Bradford. Hi, I'm John Pauline. And I'm Graham Bradford. And I want to welcome you to Revelation, Hope, Meaning, Purpose. People can cope if they know that God is in control and He's caring for them and He's promised to put His arms of love around to protect them. Of course you can Wait, cope God, if you know that God... God... What? What do you mean God is always in control? He's always caring and always love. What about all the children? John, who what, go what, what, what's going on? If God mm. is really so good, mm. and if He's really so powerful, mm. why is there so much suffering in this world? How, um, how long have we been stu studying the trumpets? Uh, professionally, I started around 1982. Uh, and um, has it, you think it's made you uh, to be a better husband and father? You know, what sort of message does it have for people who have felt rejected in life? I mean, there are people yeah. who are really discouraged out there, aren't there? I think there are people who aren't sure where their next meal is coming from. Welcome to our tour of the island of Patmos, the place where John wrote the book of Revelation. Behind me you can see the beautiful harbor of the island. And this is the theatre here at Ephesus, seating 25,000 people. It is here that they had their plays and their dramas. From these walls would come smoke which they would inhale, which would give them a, have a drug-like effect upon them. And they would also hear voices that telling them they were going to be healed and Graham. Graham, you're, you're feeling better. You're going to get well. I feel I'm being conned. Uh, this was a multi-level shopping experience in ancient Smyrna. These pillars represent the middle level of the shopping center, the agora as they called it. And then above these was a third level of nearly equal size. And stretching out over this entire square, was the marketplace of ancient Smyrna. Yeah. I, have a, I have a bad just, just, feeling just, about no, this. Just try it. Trust me. Trust me. Try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this is disgusting. Where did you get this? Just here, it's local. Oh, special. come on. So <laughs> layer the sea in water? Oh yeah, good for you. Oh. And also, uh, from this language, we also could see it reflects the occultic language in John's time. What we find then in Revelation 13 is a satanic trinity, an unholy trinity. As an Old Testament scholar, the question that most frequently comes up is, what's all this about the wrath of God? So what is this? Is it an apocalypse? Is it a prophecy? Is it a letter? Is it some kind of combination of all three? If you've enjoyed this presentation on the Book of Revelation and would like more information, visit www.revelationhope.com. You can purchase your own DVD set of this series or the booklets which cover the content of each program.